Hello Interwebs, welcome to Let's Fix Computers. Today I'm looking at the YZH electric screwdriver, which promises me a better life. Um, so this electric screwdriver was basically the cheapest one I could find on Amazon. Um, I paid, uh, I think I paid about £30 for this. Um, other prices on screen if I can find them. Editor's note. Uh, I was having a look around for current prices on this, so I paid £31. I did find exactly the same kit on Amazon US for $50. That seems overpriced to me. While I was looking around, there are other variations of this that come with fewer accessories, or one that I found that also looked like just straight up a better deal, but was a slightly different variation of it. Um, and that was about like £23 or $30. So... TLDR, what I'd recommend is I'll put in some links to this kit on Amazon, but I strongly recommend looking at similar products and related products to find one that's at a good price at the time. They're all going to be pretty similar, to be honest. So yeah, use a bit of common sense when purchasing. Um, and there are various variations of this one available from other websites like AliExpress, Banggood, etc., etc. That look very, very similar to this um, to this one, but you know, just like with a slightly different button style and under various different brands and stuff like that. So um, I don't know who the original brand is. This particular one is branded YZH or YZH, if you like, um, and it came as a reasonably decent kit. So let's get the actual screwdriver out so it's got in this little tube thing and um, it's an electric screwdriver so you press that way and it does up and you press that way and it undoes and as you can see it's got a natty little light on so you can see the screw as you're undoing it but not when you're trying to find it uh, so yeah so that's it that's what it does then on the end we've got a um, USB micro charging port uh, and a charge indicator LED this looks like it should be a bar graph for charge status, but it is not. It just lights up white when charging and blue when charged, and that's it. There's no way of determining how much charge is left in it. And in addition to that, I did try and see if I could pop the end cap off and see how removable the lithium battery was, uh, but I could not get that off without starting to go into what I thought would break it territory. So not really serviceable. So um, in the case here, We've got these magnetic little panels that come off of both sides and that reveals a rather decent selection of bits. We've got a load of torques in there, we've got a load of Phillips, we've got a load of flathead or you know slotted. There's, uh, there's some um, hex drivers, there's some socket drivers and there's a couple of slot security screws as well. There's a pretty decent selection in there. Oh yeah, there is tri-wing and triangular bits as well. So it covers all the usual bases. So yeah, decent selection, not very well labeled. The bits are of mediocre quality. Um, with screwdrivers, I will always be comparing against my wearer craft form screwdrivers, which are the gold standard for me. These guys are brilliant screwdrivers. As you can see, 50 millimeter shafts, so these will reach into anything. And the actual heads on these are second to none. These will fit screw heads like nothing you've ever used before. Uh, I've often had people bring in, I've often had kids bring in a laptop and say, I've rounded the head off on my M.2 screw, I can't get it out, how do I remove my SSD? And I'm like, let me try it with my screwdriver. And I literally just pull the screw straight out, no problem. And they're like, oh, how did you do that? And I'm like, because I've got good screwdrivers. That's how I did it. Good tools. Anyway, so these bits are a bit mediocre, um, but it's a 30 pound screwdriver set. What do you want? You know, you could combine this electric screwdriver with some higher quality bits from a better screwdriver set. If you already own said screwdriver set, then great. You could probably buy one of the variations of this without all the bits and use your existing ones. However, um, I wouldn't recommend trying to build a super duper electric screwdriver from this because um, I've been using this for about, you know, 10 or 12 days now and it's pretty good, but it's not gonna, you know, it hasn't changed my life, you know, it hasn't replaced the wearers or anything. Um, and I'll tell you straight away what it's really good at is most of the time I have it with a Phillips number one bit in it sitting to one side and I use it just for zapping out all the screws on the bottom of a laptop. When I'm about to, when I'm going to start disassembling, and you literally just go across all the screws, back cover off, then you switch to the real screwdrivers for doing all the detail work. So yeah, that's the TLDR of it. 
Let me show you it in action so you guys can see what it does and how effective it is. Here's a random Sony and uh, the screws on this are done up to the uh, normal tightness that I would have with a manual screwdriver. So what I'll do now is I'm literally just going to stick that in there and out it comes. As you can see, it's reasonably quick. Um, I did do a timing test when I first started using this and I found it was about... Get in there. I need the Philips Zero for this laptop. That's more like it. Where was I? Uh, I timed myself versus me using my normal favourite screwdriver and within a couple of seconds there was very little in it. And considering I'm pretty fast with a screwdriver, that's actually quite impressive. So from that, you can pretty much say that this is actually very quick. And as you can see, it's just zapping these screws straight out. Um, I have not magnetized these bits. I could probably stick, I could probably stick one of my magnets on the side of it. Maybe no, not really. Uh, yeah, you can't really get a magnet on the side of it like you can with another screwdriver, which is always handy for picking the screws out of the holes. However, the important thing is the actual strength and torque of this thing is extremely impressive, um, and I have tested this on various other things as well. I'll show you some B-roll footage. Um, uh, I've tried it on various laptops and various other computers. I've also tried it on an iMac um, that has uh, big T8 screws, no, T10 screws that screw into plastic. They're very difficult to remove. And this guy did actually pull them out with some difficulty. And I wasn't gentle with it either. Um, I was vicious with this thing over the past week or so. I went in fearlessly and I was like, if it breaks, it breaks. Let's find out. And it so far hasn't let me down. I've had to charge it once. Um, and I couldn't say, I mean, I take apart, you know, one or two laptops a day at the moment. Um, so, you know, it gets decent use. And also the fact that I'm brutalizing as well is probably shortening the battery life. So, you know, you could get, you know, you could easily get five to seven days use out of it. No problem. And this is just effortless. I'm just standing here pressing a button and out comes the screws. You get the idea. And likewise, when putting screws back in again, uh, you can put the screws in pretty darn tight as well. You know, certainly as tight as I would do it up by hand. Uh, you have to sort of grip the handle and let it go, you know, to let it bite in. And there is a bit of a knack to it. My first time using this, I was jumping on the screw head horribly. What if I just give a bit more pressure? Oh yeah, it's... I'm not damaging these screws to any meaningful manner, but it's... Oh yeah, it's really easy to jump on the end of the screw there. And that seems to be the case with smaller screws, um, like MacBook Pro rear panel screws. I was having a very hard time doing those up without jumping on the screw head and ruining the screw. So there is a bit of an act to it, but once you get the hang of it and you get used to just the automation of it almost, it's actually rather good. And yeah, it's just, you, you see what I'm doing with it basically. Uh, there is another popular electronic screwdriver out there called the ES120. It's made by the same, by Mini, the same people that make the TS100 soldering iron. Um, and that has got other features. It's more open, um, it's got upgradable firmware and a replaceable battery and parts and stuff like that. And in addition to that, it's got motion control. So rather than having to push a button like some kind of common pleb, um, instead you just twist it in the direction you want to go and it starts operating in that direction. And that I think would be very useful because for me, holding a screwdriver like this, the way I'm holding it now, is not terribly comfortable. Like, I can deal with it, because all I'm doing is just like, oh, boring, you know. However, what I would like to be able to do is to be able to do that with it, because when you have your hands down on the end of the screwdriver like this, this is a controlling grip of the screwdriver. I have control of this now. I can do that, I can put my arm into it, and I can direct it. And like, with this, I can sort of, when you're holding it sideways like this, you're always sort of, doing that and this kind of thing. Whereas when you're on the end of the screwdriver, 
you've got control, you've got direction, you can apply downward force to stop yourself jumping out the screw head and things like that. And with the buttons all the way down here, this you, this doesn't work. You know, you could do that, I guess, but I don't know, that's not particularly comfortable. Um, so as I say, um, the motion controls that you get from the more expensive variations of these uh, do look very attractive to me. But all the same, for 30 quid, this is significantly cheaper than those other alternatives. I believe the ES120 is about 85, 90, 85 pounds, that kind of thing. So probably about $90, uh, maybe $100. Um, so it is significantly better than this one, but it's also significantly more expensive. Um, for 30 pounds, I think this is actually all right, and I'm actually quite chuffed with it. I really thought it was going to be a gimmick, this. I didn't think it was going to be strong enough to be useful. Um, and that brings us around to sort of the idea of um, length of life. As I mentioned, the battery on this lasted impressively well, but you know, this is the first month of ownership. Um, I have had one or two people who've predicted that it's fine when you first get it, but after a short amount of time, the motor just loses all its power or the LiPo cell is gonna wear out and I won't be able to replace it. Um, I won't know that until I've owned it for six months or maybe a year. Um, and I'm not going to wait that long to make a review of it. Um, however, certainly for £30, I wouldn't be heartbroken if it only lasted six months to a year. Um, if I had a more, if I was going in, if I was more invested in this, I would say get the ES120. So that way, if it does wear out or break, you can fix it up and replace bits on it, especially like if the LiPo battery gets frazzled just by hard work. Um, but yeah, this guy is okay. I quite like it. Um, I'm not, you know, the case um, the case and the interchangeable bits, not a huge fan of that, but that's because I don't like multi-bit screwdrivers in general. And because I don't like multi-bit screwdrivers at a conceptual level, this is not something that anyone will win with me. Um, however, if you do like multi-bit screwdrivers or you're using this as a portable kit, which is quite a valid solution for this, um, then obviously the multi-bit is incredibly useful. Um, as for me, as I say, I think most of the time this is going to sit to one side with a Phillips number one in it and I'll just use it for legwork, for grunt work. So when I've got a computer and, you know, if I've got a computer in front of me and I've got to take the motherboard out of it and I've got to just drill out those nine screws in there, I can just go and just sit there drinking coffee, you know. So as I say, for that, it's really rather handy. So uh, as I say, that's about it. Um, I've tried it on lots of things. It has not, so far, within reason, I've found nothing that it cannot easily do. The only things that it has failed to, the only screws that it failed to pull out were ridiculous things, like self-tapping fan screws. And even then, that only needed me to give it a little bit of help to get the screw started. And once the screw was started, it then managed to zap, pull it out the rest of the way. Um, and same thing, putting it in, you know, it was able to take that screw most of the way in, then it just needed me to just go just a bit at the end. And that's a self-tapping screw into plastic, you know, completely unreasonable to ask this to do that. If you started using it on like server racks and stuff like that, you might struggle. But as I say, I also did most of the work on a desktop computer with this too. So all in all, I've been mightily impressed. The, the, the amount of torque it has, that was where I really thought it was going to fall over but it has actually delivered really well. So as a nifty little gadget, as a Christmas present, I think it's really pretty good. Um, as I say, don't it's not gonna replace all your really nice screwdrivers and I wouldn't have this as my only screwdriver. However, as an augmentation to the toolkit, it's actually rather handy and neat. Um, do I recommend it? Uh, sure, if you like the idea of it, go for it. If you're looking at that going, that seems like a really neat idea, Pick up one of these cheap ones and you won't be disappointed with it. Um, but yeah, if you're not really interested in electronic screw in an electric screwdriver, as I wasn't particularly interested, then as I say, you know, you're not really missing out. Um, but as I say, I think it's pretty cool. I don't know. Uh, this is one of those things where, like, as I say, this isn't this isn't a tool, this isn't a must-have tool as far as I'm concerned. But if you've been eyeing one of these up, just go and buy it. I think it's I think it's neat. There will be a link to this particular one that I purchased uh, from Amazon UK um, in the description down below. So if you want to buy one, you can help support me by clicking on my affiliate link, um, or sorry, my associate link. 
Um, I will try and also link up equivalents on Amazon.com as well. Um, however, uh, sometimes it's hard to find the links everywhere. So I'll do what I can. But at any rate, I hope you guys found that interesting. That was the YZH electric screwdriver. Stick around for the end card for other support links to help out the channel. And I'll see you all in the next video. Thank you very much. Bye for now.